Hello, Senior Stoner fans. The real Senior Stoner back at you for your dab, dab of the day with diamonds. Today is Monday, start of the week, the work, work week. Hello, everybody. As always, if you enjoy the video, you know what to do. Join the Senior Stoner family. Send a subscription, hit the like button, and I certainly respond to the comments. Well, when everything's going, firing at once, from your tip of your toe, literally, up to your eye, literally, okay? How can you deal with it? How can you deal with your chronic pain when it takes over? Well, do you remember a game called Duck Hunt? Anybody remember Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt was a Nintendo game back in the 80s, and it came with a connected wire gun that you stand back, I don't know, 10 feet and go bang, 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 you click it, and if you got it on the monitor of your TV, it would go quack, 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 okay? Well, guess what? That's what this is, too. If you, just like me, have multiple things happening simultaneously, very painful. What is very important to do is handle it like duck hunt. Well, I was an expert. I mean, I stayed at it for hours sometimes, just kept going to the hundreds of thousands of points. I was a good marksman with a rifle, too, when I was a young boy. Here's the bottom line of what I'm trying to say and how this topic's going to work. It's to be a juggler of horrible, painful things that you're going to catch eventually. It's just a matter of how long you can keep them in the air. You're going to be caught. Just a matter of how long you keep spinning the plates or whatever you've got. So, how we got to approach it is we've got to state the facts. Okay? Your body didn't, betray, our bodies don't betray us. We betray our bodies. What do I mean by that? Okay? If all we should be doing would be sitting in a chair watching TV, that's all we should be doing then. If all we should be doing is laying in a bed, an electric bed, with our head up, petting our dog all day watching TV, that's what we should be doing. This constant argument that we have with ourselves between your mind telling you something and your body telling you something totally different a lot of times, it's got to stop because your body wins. Your body, unfortunately, can tell you whatever the hell it wants to and you have no choice sometimes. So... What's got to happen is we've got to look at our attitude towards every minute we're in chronic pain. And you've got to realize that you can only do what you can. And that focusing on all the ways you're limited isn't the way to look at it, okay? That's poor me, and that's not going to get any of us anywhere, certainly not the way I approach things, okay? You've got to be grateful and focus on what you can do. What gives you inner peace? What keeps you grounded? What keeps you inspired to take action if you do? Well, for me personally, it's Mrs. Stoner. The feeling of not letting her down and trying to be strong for her. And then it's my kids and sugar. It's not for myself anymore. I'm in kind of the, the position of what you would call the rocking chair back in CB land, where you had a radar person up in front and a radar person in the back. The rocking chair was the car that didn't need to have the radar. Why? Because I, I have people that really, really care about me, thank God. So what's been happening is I've been a martyr. Don't be the martyr. Only do what you can. What's firing and what's going wrong in my body, from a pain standpoint, in most cases are things that I push too far. I said, the hell with it, I'll do it anyway, it's not gonna hurt me. Yeah, well, it did. Okay, now I'm breaking teeth. Now, instead of wearing a bite plate, who needs one? I'm cracking teeth. So, now, what you gotta remember, in my opinion, is that it gives yourself a break. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but you almost have to stop trying to heal yourself, okay? Because the idea of healing means that you are sick, broken, or less than good. What if trying to heal yourself changed? 
to just treat your body well, what would that look like? Well, you'd have to see a health practitioner maybe and blah, blah, blah. But I'm thinking of considering going to a physical therapist. I don't let people touch me anymore, except the guy that does pain injections and denervations, which I'm scheduled for next week. So what we need to do, I think, is invest as much as you can in your health. That's what I have always done. But I'm 64. I could have caught myself back in my 20s, okay, and started investing more in my health, part of my budget. I always loved myself, so it would have continued to be spending money on something I loved. Today, you've kind of got to make up for what you haven't done if you're older like me. If you're younger, you can take advantage of what I now know, which is you got to start early. You got to nourish yourself. You see, those comfort foods that you eat, that I eat, anybody eats when they don't feel well, backfire. They're just not the best ones. So we got to find better ways to nourish ourselves. And we've got to find pleasure because illness and pain, it sucks. It's a drag, okay? Humor and pleasure are incredibly healing. They are. So, Surround yourself. I try to surround myself with as much pleasure as you can. And it doesn't have to cost you money. It doesn't have to be grandiose. Simple pleasures every day. Walking sugar to the end of the frickin' block alleviates a lot of suffering for me, okay? Whatever works for you, okay? Write down a Mary Poppins. These are a few of your favorite things, okay? And you know what? You'll know joy at that point. You won't be able to understand how good it's going to be for you because you know that you've played the duck hunt game as well as you could play. Quack, quack, boom. Quack, quack, boom. Whatever pops up, take care of it. One of the things that never happened when I played duck hunt is that bird never went quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. It never got off the screen. I killed it, shot it before it got out. Before it got across the screen. That was the whole point, to get it before it got across the screen. So maybe the analogy, our duck hunt here, our duck hunt scenario, analogy, we can't let our bodies go too far down the line with these different things. And if you let it get too far down the line, bad things can be exacerbated. You think you got bad. Let's say you got a painful situation. Example. It's going to be a hell of a lot more painful if you either don't deal with it medically or rest that part of your body. Like if you sprain some, if if you're walking on a sprained foot, and you keep doing it rather than trying to heal it, it's going to get much worse. Any of the things that happen to us, if we don't address them, get much worse. Unfortunately, that's what happens. I call it kicking the can down the road. But with your body, unfortunately, your mind thinks you can kick the can down the road. Okay, you can't. You always got to pay the piper. Always. When the body is involved. Nothing is free. You have to remember that. Nothing. Is they always, they're saying is nothing in life is free. When it comes to your body, nothing. I don't care if you are throwing frisbees, jumping up, catching them under your legs, because I was doing all this. I don't care if you're doing that. You still got to remember nothing is free, okay? Take care of your bodies. And if you have multiple things going on simultaneously like I do, play duck hunt in your mind with each one of them. Quack, quack and hit each one of them and deal with each scenario you have. Don't say, oh, I'll deal with it later. Oh, I'll deal with it later. Because oh, you know what? They're going to catch up with you. Deal with them. You'll find out that it's not as overwhelming as you might have thought. You'll find out, I hope, and I hope I'm going to find out, that as you deal with things, what you thought was going to happen, what you thought was the problem, might not have been the scenario at all. So, this is the real senior stoner saying, 
there are ways to deal with our chronic pain when it happens multiple parts of your body at the same time. You just gotta play duck hunt. You gotta address each and every one of them until they're handled. Here we go, everybody. For our dab on our dab e-rig by iSpire. I like holding it like a gun. I think it's pretty cool like this. Seniors, not that heavy, believe it or not, because you only have two rechargeable batteries inside, not like this huge battery pack. I have it at 400 degrees, which I consider a low temperature dab. The reason I don't take large inhalations is I don't like to cough anymore. I went through a period where I really hurt myself and I can't do that again. Here comes the vapor. Thanks for joining me, everybody. You know what to do if you enjoyed the video. Have a great one and take care of your bodies. Even that little pinch, look at that, wow. Excellent, excellent performance. It's early yet, it's a couple days old, this, this device. But so far, it's really measuring up with both taste and vapor production. Thanks for joining me again, everybody. Have a great day. Take care of your bodies. Cheers. Play Duck Hunt.